Hey, welcome back once again, Hidden Acres Outdoors. I'm David. Today, we're going to show you just how simple it is to slip the slip clutch on your bush hog. Now, a lot of people don't do this because they either don't know how or they're too lazy, but you've got a $20,000, $30,000 tractor, you got a couple of thousand dollar bush hog. Why take the chance of busting up the drivetrain either on your bush hog or on your tractor? And when does it need to be slipped, you ask? The manual will tell you to slip it if it's been sitting outside in the rain or anywhere else and not used for about a month. Uh, I don't think most people do that. Personally, I don't do that. But at least once or twice a season, especially at the beginning of the season, you got to do this or one of these days it's going to jump up and bite you. Okay, so, what we have is a slip clutch uncovered. This is your gearbox, obviously, with the, uh, the breather cap universal joint and the reason you slip this clutch i'll bring you in here in a few minutes and show you the uh how this thing will rust up and you don't want that to happen so. and you want to loosen them up you don't need to take the the nut all the way off matter of fact you don't want to do that it's not a big deal if you do but you just want to loosen it up to where you can twist this spring right here with your fingers. After you get it to where you can freely spin this spring, only thing we're going to do is go back and tighten this to where this spring is finger tight. You're not going to be able to twist it like that with your, with your fingers. So we'll tighten it down just a little bit. That I can barely turn. So that's what you're looking for. So we'll go through and do all eight of these. Be right back. We're going to take a paint pen. Mark across here. Down across the bottom. And up on this side. Then we're going to crank the tractor, run it up to about, oh, 1,500 or so RPM, engage this clutch, and see if we slip this inner disc from these two outer discs here. So, stand by. Let's hook the PTO back up and go to town. Now you can see they were no longer lined up. So we have successfully slipped this thing. So what we're going to go in now and do is tighten these springs down. To com uh, The Rhino manual calls to tighten these springs down to where you compress them an eighth of an inch. Now you can eyeball it, you can measure it, you can do whatever you want to. But... Uh, if you want to measure it, take your tape measure, measure the first bolt, count how many turns you turn the wrench, and just do that to the other seven, you'll be good. Stand by, let's get it done. Now the easiest way to me is to take this, instead of trying to measure the spring, just measure nut to bolt clearance. This appears to be right at oh if I hold my head like that let's line it up that way this is almost three and three quarters but just not quite so we're going to compress this spring about an eighth of an inch and take another gander see what it looks like okay we're going to start at the 12 o'clock position we're going to rotate this thing a quarter turn. And we'll measure it again. And lo and behold, wouldn't you know, almost there. Let's do another quarter turn. That's what we're looking for right there. 
So we're going to go about three eighths of a turn, just shy of twice. I mean, uh, just shy of a full half turn. And here we go. That was one. That was what? That was our quarter turn. Let's do. That's a quarter turn. And that's a quarter turn. So I've got three and six eighths there. I've got three and six eighths there. Now let's just do the other six and we'll be done. And there you have it. That's all there is to slip in the clutch on one of these things. Be sure to give us a like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. We'll see you from Hidden Acres Outdoors. Bye.